welcome back guys to my RV and our farm. I am going to show you a little bit of what I got uh, for my Kroger haul. I know that you guys watched my Azure standard haul just a couple days ago and this is from Kroger. Um, I don't know if you know what that is but it's a grocery store that delivers to you. It's similar to Instacart I guess um, but it's its own entity and they deliver out here to our farm, which is pretty awesome. I haven't fully decided if I like them or Aldi um, more. I usually will get my Aldi order delivered as well, um, but I kind of wanted to see like what their quality of produce is, because you can see that's primarily what I get from Aldi or any grocery store that I go to. I don't usually buy staples because we buy our staples in bulk. So I'm gonna go through that and just kind of let you know as a family of six, um, actually seven, my mama lives with us and so there's seven of us and so we make a lot of things from scratch. Let's get to it. Okay, so I'm gonna just kind of go through this. I mean, obviously these are normal things that everyone gets, I'm sure. I mean, this is not anything exciting really, but I thought I'd share anyways and tell you how I will plan on using them through the week. Um, this is about a week, week and a half amount of produce that we'll go through. Hopefully none of it gets forgotten in the fridge and goes into the pigs. Don't tell my husband I said that. Anyways, <laughs> that does happen guys. It really does. Okay, so moving forward, I got another pack of onions because we love very flavorful food and add onions to pretty much every single meal that we make literally guys I'm talking almost every single meal so um so I got bananas I think it's the funniest thing when you order from Kroger or Aldi or anything and like it's not like you can ask for a bunch of bananas like you have to put in an amount and so I'm like okay well 12 I guess and so you get literally a bunch and then two more it's I don't know it's funny and I know that's how they have to do it but it, it just cracks me up because I'm like okay that's fine it's fine all right so then i also got um some honey crisp apples if you are from the north you know what those bad boys are i don't actually like apples but i like those apples um so i did pick up some of those just because i was having a little bit of missing home missing up north and i just kind of wanted a, a yummy little treat um i got some blackberries um whoops we don't really get too many berries from the store it's just really a treat because with a big family you go through those pretty quickly like frozen berries are a better bet for us and putting them into things than buying fresh unless we're buying it locally then like, that's a totally different story um, a couple weeks ago we bought I think 16 flats of strawberries and process them as um, a couple farmers well farming friends of mine we all came together and just made a bunch of things with them and jellies and jams and um, even one of my friends has one of those, well, two of those really cool freeze dried, freeze dried. So anyway, she has two of those. So she's doing a bunch of those. And so we kind of just like do a bunch of different things and share and it, it works out really cool. Especially when you do it in community, you can process so much. I'm hoping that I can get footage of that down the line because I think it's really inspiring to see um, different small mini farms coming together and doing big projects together. Plus we like to cackle together and laugh and do all the funny things. So anyways, all right, moving on. So I got some um, zucchini. It is in season, at least here in Florida. So I'm hoping these will be good. I'm sure they are. Zucchini's pr pretty good usually. Um, I will add these. My kids really like these sliced up with a little bit of Parmesan cheese and thrown in the oven. It is so good, guys. It is so good. But I'll also add it to chili. I'll add it to all the things. We do chili a lot here because it's for one, it's easy because I have an Instapot. Actually, I take that back. It's a ninja, ninja foodie. And so it's easy to get my bulk beans soft within an hour so i cook them in the instapot for an hour they're already they're dried and then they soften up and then when i go to cook them again with the chili they really 
end up being very tender and delicious. So it's a fast meal, even though it seems like it wouldn't be from dried beans, but it is. So, and we always have meat on hand because we get our beef from our friends that have, have cows. And then um, we have some pork from the pigs that we butchered before and actually we're butchering two more pigs in the next couple well hopefully in the next week or so um, because they are due anyways so we don't actually buy meat from the store that's why you really won't see any meat here is we've just really committed to butchering and raising up and butchering our own meat okay so moving on from that so we have limes because you know taco night I mean you have to have taco night we make homemade tortillas and they are delicious if you've never made homemade tortillas it is like it's night and day guys you really have to do it it's super easy there really is no reason not to because they're delicious okay so I got spinach when I said that I might be feeding something to the pigs yeah that 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 back there may maybe I'm gonna have you guys hold me accountable that we go through those two things okay so we also have stuff in the garden to add to the spinach. That's why I didn't get a mixed green because I have arugula, I have kale, I have lots of things out in the garden that I can add into that to make it a more diverse salad. I am a person that likes salad to have all the things in it. So that means that I have to make a salad with all the things in it. So it is not always my first choice, but when I do, I'm like, man, I should make salads more. And then I don't, so I don't know. I'm holding, you're going to hold me accountable, guys, to some salads. Or even just send me some salads that you like that are quick because I can't. Ah! Or some tips on how to, you know, eat salad more. I don't know. All right, so pineapples. My kids absolutely love pineapples. We get them pretty often, and we take the tops off, and we actually plant them in the yard. We live in Florida, so um, we can do that. Um, and you literally just pop the lid off you just after you cut it you cut it down here and then you pop it off from like the I don't know the the flesh that's left here and then you'll be left with this little piece and you literally in Florida not everywhere you plant it in the soil some people say to plant it in or put it in water and wait for the roots but here in Florida you really don't have to do that because we live in the tropical subtropical area I don't know it's always hot Anyways, okay, so moving on, cilantro, because cilantro is amazing. Um, I got some gelatin. I made, what did I make? I made goat milk yogurt the other week, and I, it was too runny. I didn't get a lot from it. It was not what I was wanting. Um, I'm a texture person, so that was very not okay for me so but I did find a recipe that you add gelatin to the yogurt so smart guys like literally there's people out there that are genius so I'm like you are amazing you are amazing so you add the gelatin to it and it gives it the actual yogurt texture like a raw milk cow milk texture yogurt so I'm gonna try that obviously we're still waiting for Sarah to have her baby but um, we are gonna try this. I have a ton of milk on hand from the goats and I just really want some yogurt. So that's why I got whole milk yogurt. You can use this as a starter, even though it's regular milk, it doesn't matter. Well, I should say cow milk, not regular milk, but cow milk, um, you can still use it as a starter. So I got that. The kids will eat it with their granola that I make for them. Um, cottage cheese. This is also one of those things that I cannot wait for Sarah to have her baby so that I can make some cottage cheese. But here we are. We go through a lot of cottage cheese. It's a quick snack, um, a really good snack for the kids. Um, they like to add applesauce to it. I got some cheeses because, you know, you're going to have tacos and all of the things and cheese just goes well with everything. So I just got some sliced cheese for quick meals for when we're out and about. Um... I'm gonna roast a chicken so that we can add that to the cheese for sandwiches. Make some bread. Maybe I'll show a video of me trying to make bread. I am not an expert at all. I'm still learning, so don't judge me. I got some LaCroix for just sweet little, little drinks. The kids like these, we all like these, and they're not terrible. Um, so, oh, I forgot the potatoes. I, I We go through a lot of potatoes. Um, I add them 
to a lot of meals. I really like it with the chicken curry meal that I make. It's super easy, super simple. Again, the the Ninja Foodie is the best invention ever. Okay, well, it's the Instant Pot, but you know what I mean. Like, having something that can make a meal so quickly and I can walk away from it for an hour and come back and there's a meal is amazing. Like, I know, I know there has been the, um, the crock pot and all of that, but guys, I can't, I forget to put it in every single, every single morning. So, or four hours before, like, even if you're going to do it on high, I'm like, I can commit to an hour before dinner. I can't brain commit to eight hours or four hours before because, you know, we are running all the time going to feed the animals and I would love to be better about that, but I'm not. So, okay. So last but not least, we have the celery. Now, <clears throat> I really want to be better about putting peanut butter on celery for my kids. I just forget, guys. I forget that I have it in there. I forget about that snack. So here I am trying again, week 210 of trying again to make quick snacks that are healthy for my kids. Okay, not really 210. I have no idea. But, you know, you know what I'm saying. So that's what I, that's there for. Um, also for, you know, adding to chili or jambalaya or whatever I'm making. Um, I kind of wing it when it comes to meals. I'm sure you have figured that out. Maybe not. I don't know. So I have limes and avocados and I got a melon. Melons for snacking or a dessert to go with the cottage cheese. And blackberries. And blackberries. You're right. I don't know if you could hear her in the, in the bedroom, but um, yeah, so that's kind of what I got for this week. It is not a lot. I spent a hundred dollars on all of this. Um, that seems like a lot. It, I feel like the prices are just going up and up and up, but, um, we're just trying to be intentional about our groceries, even though, you know, sometimes we have to feed up to the pigs. It's, it hurts a little bit, but, um, at least it's going to something, right? Like the pigs are going to provide meat for us. So there's that. Um, anyway, so I'm rambling at this point. I will let you guys go. I appreciate you coming in here. Thanks for popping over and hanging out with me during my Kroger haul. I pray that you guys have a blessed day. Bye.